So there's a sink point up there. There's a helix shard over there. Hmm. I think that's all there is to this. Yep. That's why they've stopped coming, because, well, there's nowhere else for them to come from, I think. Yay! I'm happy that they have stopped. Maybe. Can I just get up and over? Yep. Yay! I'm a shadow! I don't even need firecrackers. Like, why, why would you... Uh, you could have used those to escape, I suppose. Eh. That's not what I'm about. Here you go, Sink. I keep forgetting that I probably have more things I can read. Documents, I do. It'll be her memories. Memories part... Oh, no, the Jin River. Not memories. Uh, the Jin River, or Jin Jiang, is located in the southern Fujian and goes through the town of Nian. Or, Na or Na'an, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's about 180 kilometers long and it has dramatic changes of level during the year due to heavy rainfalls in the region. Coo! There coo! Whee! Oh wow, we have to go far. Oh no. I knew there'd be something. <laughs> Fuck, I knew it. I got him! <laughs> How? Oh my god, that was amazing. If I hadn't done the crouch, I think I'd have been spotted. That was awesome. So good! Ah oh, man. Scroll 11. Before leaving, Xiao Jun wanted to see her best friend Zhang, and took the incredible risk of infiltrating the Forbidden City. She knew the place by heart, but would be, have been slaughtered by the eunuch guards if she'd been caught. Fortunately, the Jia, uh, Jia Jing Emperor did not fancy living in the Forbidden City and was often outside of it, leaving the level of security lower than usual. Xiao Jun found Zhang and was astonished to hear that she wanted to stay, even if the new Emperor was a brutal and cruel man. Zhang was actually lucky enough to please him, and was now Imperial Consort. The highest rank before Empress, she told her old friend to leave in peace and did not did not want to hear about Templars controlling the Tigers, even less the man she'd expect to become her husband. Xiao Jun accepted Zhang's decision. She remembered how important her career as concubine was when she was one of uh, Zheng Dei's favorites. She left the Forbidden City for the last time, or so she thought. Ba -ba -bam. That was amazing. I'm so lucky that that worked out the way it did. In fairness, I could have I could have just done this. I could have picked up the body, and then hidden it. And to be fair, the only reason I'm hiding the body is because I know it goes towards an achievement, so... Anybody I can hide is worthwhile. Oh right, I actually have to go down here. Cool! I didn't even know. We Assassin! Oh yeah. Assassino! Whee! Okay, I don't think there's anything here. Mm, nope. Very good. Very good. Every time I say very good, it reminds me of um that dark. It's a Dark Souls. It's a Dark Souls two. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like Better with Friends edition. It's an. It's hilarious, and it's like Dark Souls two with a friend, and it's just oh man, it's so funny. But it, every time I say very good, it reminds me of a scene in that. Oh. If I could cause a large distraction. Ah. Okay, they're talking. So, I get the feeling they talk forever. I'll wait for him to turn his head again, and then I'll leave. Go. Oh, where am I then? Oh, I'm right. Here. Oh, okay. Oh god, I need to escape? In this amount of time? Ah, uh, that's why there's a hay bale. Right. Oh, uh, this is terrible. Uh, 
No, 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 no. Oh god, I've screwed myself, haven't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Go, go, go! I'm just mashing the A button. Where's the other... There's, there's one more. Oh god, I have to go this side? Oh, fuck. Fuck! I knew I wouldn't. Fuck me! Literally, I needed one more second and I would have done it. And I know that for a fact. Where at? Why am I here? Oh, you're an asshole. To be fair, this isn't hard. This is a very easy section. Yes, yes, we know. Yeah, I screwed myself, but to be fair, the good thing about dying is the fact that the animus shards are now collected. So, I don't need to worry. Yeah, I don't need to worry as much. Go, climb on up. And I don't have to go underneath to get a, a fragment, which is probably what took me the most amount of time. I know I've done this with, with ease. For sure. I could have probably done it last time had I not screwed around on the underbars, but never mind. I'll grab the helix thing again, because I have a lot more time uh, this time. Is this a sync point? Can I do eagle view? No. Leap of faith! There you go. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I understand now. This is what it says. Does this guy turn around? Then he does. I got him. All's good. That shouldn't... That should still count as assassin. Because, I mean, I got spotted, but he died before he could do anything. So... There is that. Question is, what does this do? Oh, it does nothing. Oh. What? It does something. Um... Okay? Maybe it's because that one's already open? Maybe? Only explanation. Oh. How difficult. Where are we? Okay, there's a helix thing down here. Oh! Oh, fun. Does he turn around? Good. My god, that was not really scary. I was just like, shit, that's not good. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got him. And honestly, because I think it'd be a good idea. Yeah, I can't do that, sadly. Hide the body. Could you please? They're there. Maybe I have to drop the, like, the first part of the bridge and then the... Or, like, a further part of the bridge and then another part. I don't really know. It's the only idea I really have, honestly. Um... Okay. That was lucky. Jesus. I almost went one thing too far. Straight into his vision. How fun that would have been. So where does this actually go to? A lot further than you'd think. That's Helix. There's another thing I want to get to. I've just realised that I can actually go up. Very good. Ah! Yeah, get owned. Uh oh. There we go. And killed. Hey! 
I wouldn't even want to do half of these as a shadow. Scroll number 12. Cool. The Tigers were now confident they controlled China. They retreated in luxurious palaces to enjoy their new power and put another puppet in place. Yang Song was to be the public face of the administration while Jia Jing turned himself completely toward private affairs. In the shadows, the Tigers complete completed their hunt for assassins all over China and started to search for ancient artifacts, as well as consolidating their grip and financial power through diverse operations throughout the country. Fun. Wow, this level must be huge. Uh-huh, just looking at the fact there's loads of anima shards left, there's six of them. Okay, there's a lot left. Wow. Alright. Um, right, so that's where I need to get to. I've gotten everything so far. Yeah, the only thing I'm missing are the seven anima shards. Which shouldn't be too bad to get. I would hope. Ah, with this one I can go straight across. Aha! And yes, the bridge is actually up. It's all open. Maybe if they get alerted, then things change. Which is honestly the only idea I have. Hmm. This is terrible. Considering the fact that I think his bubble can see me. I really wish I could move. Oh! Oh! Release and go. Oh wow, I'm surprised. Okay. Reach the city. Okay, I see. Oh, hang on. Yeah, go down. Wow, well, this is very familiar to, like, the starting area. Just dank caves. Hmm. Don't need to get to the helix thing, so that's fine. Not even sure what this gives me. Hmm. A noise dart. Alright. Oh, right, if I get detected, then I have to do that again. I really wish you could see where her hands are. There we go. Hmm. Alright, now I know. If they talk, I can escape. Well, you know, move to the right. There must be a, an opening over here that leads down. Otherwise, I have no idea how I'm going to get to it. Now, just be careful. And also wait for this guy to come back and they'll have a conversation. Huh? Ah. Right. I thought I saw something too. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, I do see someone. It's a grabber. Essentially, I just need to wait for him to fuck off. Turn around, you douche. Then I can make my way underground again. Perfect. So all that led to? Yes. Wow. Worth it. <laughs> Woo. I need to be careful, though. Uh, God. There, now I'm at the... I would say the max, but that's not the right word. Don't want to kill anybody here, because it would screw me, I, I would say. For one, a body, the body would get found. Right, okay. Oh. God damn. 
Okay, good. Whew. Well, right, I can go up into the into the upper part. Well, what do you know? Hmm. Sod it. Okay. What? No. Actually, but need to be careful. That is not what I wanted to do. Like, at all. As a matter of fact, that guy's still spooked. Alright, okay. He looks through this one. That's what I was trying to do. Oh my god. Pain in my ass. Go, go, go. That'll work. I win! Holy balls, that was crazy. Like, ridiculously so. I didn't want to jump all the way down and kill somebody. That was just something that happened. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Oh, God. <laughs> That's where I need to get to. How fun. First and foremost, there's a shard underneath. Shite. Nope. He's gonna look up. Okay. God knows, dude. Unlock. Oh, wow. I am so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> that that worked. The oh, fuck. Ah, uh, that's where I can go. Okay. You understand now. Alright, so if I look over here, there's one guy. Two guys. Hmm. Oh, I think I can jump down from over here. Ah, if I can, if I can jump down and just assassinate from here, that would be useful. No, I can't. That was lucky. Whew. And that's the thing that you ring if. You want reinforcements. At least I think so. Whoop. Aha! And there's the shield guy. That happens so much as well, I've noticed. That I'll be running up to them as they turn around, and if I slide, it just... It works out so well. It's great. Like, absolutely fantastic is what it is. There's nothing over here, is there? No. This was just a diff an alternate way you could probably come into this. Is what I would assume. Alright, cool. Now let's let's let everything go tits up. I know that's what's gonna happen now. Careful. Whew. Right, okay. If I kill this guy right away. And then open this up. Don't jump in. Okay, never mind, jump in. Do what you want. No chance I'd be able to do that. Nah. I don't even know where he stops either. Just be careful. So glad that they give you the cone in which where their like where their sight goes to. My goodness if they didn't. Hmm. 
things would be a whole lot worse. I'm also certain that if you was in the Underhang, the Seeker would probably be able to find you, because it looks as if his his area that he can detect seems to reach into the Underhang. Actually, no, it reaches just below it, seemingly. Oh, I can't get him. Bugger. They do say if you crouch, he can't sense you. Oh, there we go. That's what you're meant to do. Hey, hey. All right, we did it. That wasn't too bad. That room was surprisingly straightforward, actually. There we are. So where do we go now? Oh, oh. Across everything else. Yeah, I didn't have to use anything. Yeah, I keep forgetting I can now sprint. Kind of. All right. Yay! Yeah, you can crouch sprint, in a way. It's awesome. I was waiting for there to be a dude over here. Nobody will disturb me from the other side, because they're all dead. It's great! Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Go across. Oh dear. Uh-oh. Oh god, he died. No. Yang Ming. Here she is. Finally. Sea girl, I have your precious box. Oh dear. Kill her. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh, it makes more sense to just go. Go straight ahead! There are no guys here, either. Hold that to unlock stuff. Done. Have I gotten everything, then? I have. Oh! How oh, nice. Oh, no. <laughs> They're not gonna wonder. Hmm. Where could she be? Where am I aiming to get to? Oh, further down. Oh, shit. I should have run. Fuck. Oh. Okay. Moment of truth. I get the feeling I'm in that. I am. Fuck my life. Oh, we got him. Hey! I like how I can counter multi attacks. What? I pressed the rollover button. There we go. Nice! Right, we got him. Oh dear. Got it. Oh, we have to assassinate them. Oh, we have to kill them. Oh, I didn't know that. No, I didn't. I would rather kill this guy. First. Yay! That wasn't too bad. Hello. up. As for the rest... Oh, that was all of them. Oh, that wasn't too bad. To be honest, doing that without getting hit, which is another achievement, wouldn't be too hard, Seafood. I don't think. I'm sorry. I was too slow. I should have reached you sooner. I could have stopped Zhang Yong. I could have protected the box. What good is it to take revenge if I keep losing those I care for? I could have saved you. Aww. Don't beat yourself up about it. Hey! I got 900. Wow. I actually got really close to the max amount of score. Not bad. 20 minutes. The levels aren't that bad now. I think it's because I'm getting used to the game. Increase the amount of he the helix boost can be collected. 
Increase the speed, can break into locked hiding places. Very nice. Right, we'll watch the next cut next cutscene, read whatever it tells us, and then that's the end of the session. One of many concubines. When the Brotherhood came for us, I saw freedom. Mm. I saw a future. Now it is up to me to offer hope for those who see none. When Zhang Yong and Chu Ju are dead, when I have the box, I will deliver that. Now my journey has come full circle. My past has returned to aid my future. My old friend, once a concubine like me, is now Empress. And she's risking her life to help me. Oh wow. She knows where to find Sang Yong. But I fear she and the concubines are in grave danger. If the Templars suspect they are helping me, they will kill them in the blink of an eye. Oh dear, not good. Just realized there's only four um, levels left in the game. So that's good. Then in this session, I've done a fair amount. Like in the first two sessions, I did uh, level one, level two. Started level three. In the second session, I did uh, level two, uh, no, level three, level four, started level five. And in this session, I uh, did level five, six, and seven. Wait, no. I did consequences, the search, the snake, hunted. And now we're starting an old friend. So I've done like four levels and started the fifth. That's incredible. Right, an old friend. 1530, the Forbidden City. Xiao Jun has returned to her first home, the Forbidden City. The Empress, a friend of Xiao Jun's concubine days, has requested a meeting. Xiao Jun must infiltrate the Tiger's stronghold, move across the city through the gardens, and ascend the tower to be reunited with her old friend. Holy bloody hell. There must be a lot of points available in this, because 800 just to increase the helix bar, and 1200 to increase health. And you also get a reward of 500 to save for saving the concubines. The Forbidden City. The Forbidden City was the Chinese Imperial Palace for the Ming Dynasty, from the Ming Dynasty till the end of the Qing Dynasty. Um, it is located in Beijing and is now a museum. Emperors used to live there with their family, concubines and government. It was at the same time a fortress designed to protect the Emperor and his own, and the shelter for countess, uh, countless concubine guarded concubines, guarded by eunuchs so they could only bear the child of the Emperor. Built at the beginning of the 15th century, the city is made of 980 buildings of typical Chinese architecture and is now a UNESCO protected site. It is shaped uh, as an immense rectangle in the middle of the capital, and legend has it that it contains 999 uh, 9,999 rooms. This number, as well as the various names of the structures of the city, are part of the sacred and symbolic aspect of the location. Four gigantic towers are located on the corners of the walls, while Four gates allow access to the inner city from Tian Anmen Square. The main gate of the city is called the Meridian Gate and leads the way through the city across multiple areas and gates. After crossing a first court, another interior wall leads to the fa most famous area. Through the Gate of Supreme Harmony, farther inside the city, the Gate of Heavenly Purity leads to the inner court, which was even more protected. Symbolism has a great part in the architecture of the city, influencing colors, shapes, names, and decorations. And also, we probably have the dude that just died. Oh. Oh. Way bent. Oh, wait, here we go. The Zengde Emperor. The Zengde Emperor, 1941-1521, was the 10th, 10th Ming Dynasty Emperor of China who ruled from 1505 to 1521. He started a fashion amongst emperors by not attending seriously to the affairs of state, preferring to enjoy a life of leisure outside the walls of the Forbidden City, amongst prostitutes, enjoying exotic animals and alcohol, and did not hesitate to condemn opponents to a painful death. When he spent time in the Forbidden City, though he enjoyed the company of Xiao Jun amongst, amongst his many concubines, fascinated by the girl's agility and cunning, he loved to send her spying on his own people and treasured her as some kind of pet. During this time, the corrupt eunuch uh, Liu Jin, leader of the Tiger, stole from the state taxes and manipulated the power of the throne for personal interest. The emperor discovered the treachery and had Liu Jin executed. He was a general who led his armies against Mongolian raiding expeditions in the north of China. At this time, he brought Xiao Jun with him as part of his travel personnel, bedded her and made her imperial concubine, a rank that would had maybe made her empress someday if he had not died at 30. The Jiajing Emperor, 50, 1501 to 1567, 
was the 11th Ming Dynasty Emperor of China who ruled from 1521 to 1567. He died... Uh, he was the former Zhengde Emperor's cousin who died heirless. He was not in the natural... Uh, yeah, natural line of succession, but was chosen through political plotting, including that of Zhang Yong and his tigers, as he had links with the Templars. Under their influence, he triggered a first major crisis in Chinese establishment by defying the normal rules of succession. He should have been adopted posthumously or humously by the previous emperor to prevent breaking the ancestral lineage, which was a very important concept at the time. He insisted on having his own father declared emperor posthumously. This triggered what is known known as the Great Rites Controversy and was used as a pretext to shun and even execute opponents. The Jiajing Emperor was known to be cruel and egocentric. He refused to live in the Forbidden City and ignored the affairs of state, leaving the real power in the hands of the delegates, such as Yang Song, uh, Yan Song, who was actually a puppet of the Tigers and therefore the Templars. He is known for having condemned many of his concubines to death by Ling Chi, or death by a thousand cuts, for plotting to assassinate him. After 45 years on the throne, the second longest reign in the Ming Dynasty, Emperor Jia Jing died at in 1567, possibly poisoned by his own son. The Jing Wei or Jing Wei, Jing Wei? Whatever, Jing Wei was an imperial military police which served as the personal guard of the emperors of the Ming Dynasty. They took their orders directly from the emperor and had enough power to overrule most uh, judiciary, judiciary authorities. As a result, they could arrest, prosecute, and execute anyone. In the later years of the dynasty, they were placed under control of the eunuchs. Holy balls, that was a lot of reading. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the session. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.